Good morning students. In last lecture, we have discussed about what is called a healthy person and what is disease free person. Right? In that we have discussed that the healthiness, it is a physical, mental and social well-being. Right? Now, in today's lecture, we will understand that some disease, it stay for long time. Some disease, it stay for a short time. So what that disease are called. Also, we will understand that what is called infectional disease and what is called non-infectional disease. Okay, so let's start from our topic that is acute disease and chronic disease. See, uh, there is not any logic in it, but here acute. We can, uh, we can remember it like this. Acute, which disease is cute, which stay for a short time? Simple, the disease which stay for a short time, that is called acute disease. This is not the definition, but we can remember it like this. The disease which stay for a short time, and we all like, even we don't like disease, but if the disease it stay for a short time, so it is cute disease. So we will consider here, acute disease means, the disease which stay for short time and which are the disease which stay for a short time. So we can say common cold, then cough, then common cold, cough or normal fever. These are the disease which stay for a short time. On other hand, chronic disease, now you are very intelligent, you know that if acute disease means which stay for a short time, so chronic disease means the disease which stay for a long time. So chronic disease means the disease which stay for a long time. That is considered as chronic disease. And which are the example of chronic diseases? TB, di uh, TB, it can be example, TB means tuberculosis, then jaundice is the example of it, and other many diseases are there that which is considered as chronic disease. But generally, here we will take example of tuberculosis and uh, jaundice. In this chronic disease, some disease, it may be cured. Why? Some, it will become permanent disease, right? Uh, suppose we take example of cancer. So, uh, cancer will not come and it will just go in one week, right? It will be there for a long time. So, it will be considered as a chronic disease. So, this way, a difference between acute disease and chronic disease is there in front of you. Again, we will revise the acute disease means the disease which stay for a short time and chronic disease means the disease which stay for a long time that is considered as chronic disease. In acute disease, we will have common cold, cough and normal fever. While in chronic disease, we will have TB, jaundice, cancer, different heart problems. So that all will be considered as chronic disease. So, as we discussed about acute disease and chronic disease, now how this disease is caused to us, right? Causes of disease. Our next topic it is causes of disease. So it's very simple that disease may cause to us by some internal causes and by some. External causes. Now, which are the internal causes and which are the external causes? Here we can understand that internal causes means the factors which is inside our body. It is not depend on the environment. And external factor means it is depend on environment, not in our body. Let's start first from internal causes. In internal causes, there may be some genetic problem 
or uh, there may be a default problem from birth right so here in internal causes we can take some genetic problems also we can take a default problem in genetic problem we know that uh, in 1945 in Hiroshima and Nagasaki when the atomic bomb was placed and right now also the newborn baby in that cities, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, they will have some defense. So that is a genetic problem which is coming from 1945, right? So such type of genetic problem, if we take the disease like asthma, so asthma, it, uh, it's also one type of genetic problem, right? Uh, if we talk about uh, diabetes, so we are also considering it as a genetic problem. It can be externally also, it can be by different causes also, but generally, uh, the internal causes in that we will take some genetic problem which genetic problem means the problem which is coming from the patterns right so the genetic factor it comes in internal causes some it will be default problem uh, by birth if there is problem in heart by birth if there is problem in the respiratory system by birth if there is problem in the excretory system that all will be considered as the internal problem so in internal problem the problems will be related to body we can also consider right now we know that the covid 19 it is caused by external problem also and one internal factor also in that internal factor we can consider If there is lack of immunity power, if there is lack of immunity power, immunity power means the strength to fight against the disease. So, if there is lack of that immunity power, it is also the internal factor by which disease can attack our body. It is just like a soldier. Our immunity power is the soldier, right? When the terrorist, your terrorist means disease. When the terrorist attacks and the soldiers are weak, so the country will get effective so similarly if there is lack of the immunity system if our immunity system is weak so that is also the internal cause by which disease can take place in our body so these are the internal causes now if we talk about external causes so in external causes simple we will have different type of bacteria we will have different type of viruses also some of the protozoans that will be the external cause. If the environment around us is not clean, so it will be the external cause, right? Uh, if uh, there is more garbage around us and the stored water is there more, so it can cause some disease like malaria, okay? So uh, more mosquitoes, uh, unhealthy environment, they are the external cause. They affect us. Also, if we consider uh, like a person who is chewing tobacco, who is a, a smoker and some other chain smokers, they continuously smoke. So, that is the external cause by which uh, different diseases take place in their body. And you have seen on the packets of cigarettes and tobacco, it is written that it is harmful for our health. So, the disease which is caused by this type of external factor, so it will be the causes of disease in terms of external, right? So this way, some internal factors and external factors, here we can consider virus, different bacteria and different protozoans. Also, some bad habits, it may consider also malnutrition. Malnutrition means if one is suffering from lack of nutrients, if one is not getting proper amount of nutrients by its food, so it may be also a reason of disease, right? So in causes of disease, there are different many causes, after that some may be other internal causes and some will be the external causes. So in exam, it uh, may ask to you that write the causes of disease. So according to the marks, we can write, if it is asked in three marks, so we have to write almost six points, six to seven points we can write for it. As we discussed that the sum disease uh, and its causes, internal causes and external causes. Now, we will discuss on the disease which is infectional disease and non-infectional disease. 
Now, from the name you can identify. The infectional disease means which is caused by infection and non-infectional disease means which is not caused by infection. Here, when a healthy person comes in contact with the another person and if the person is infected with some disease and that disease caused to the healthy person, so we can say that the disease is infectional disease. Why? In non-infectional disease, if a healthy person comes in contact with a person who is suffering from disease and then also the disease is not caused to the healthy person, so we will consider it as non-infectional disease. Right? So it's a very easy concept that infectional disease and non-infectional disease. Now let me ask you one question. COVID-19 or corona, coronavirus, the disease which is caused by coronavirus, is it infectional disease or non-infectional disease? I know you are clever, so I don't need to give any answer. You will know that it is infectional disease. That's why we are keeping a social distancing. Right? So in infectional disease, the disease which is caused by coming in contact with the person who is affected from disease that is called infectional disease and in non-infectional disease the disease which is not caused right by coming in contact with the affected person that is our non-infectional disease we can take this example uh, by Sohan and Mohan let us consider suppose this is our Sohan and this is our Mohan Sohan and Mohan both are very close friends. Now, if Sohan is suffering from any of one disease, we have to identify. And Sohan and Mohan play together. After some time, Mohan will also get affected with the similar disease as the Sohan had. So, this disease is called infectional disease because first, Mohan was a healthy person and Mohan get affected by Sohan who was suffering from any of disease. So this type of disease which spread by coming in contact with the affected person that is called infectional disease. While in non-infectional disease again. If we consider to another things. Right? Now what we will give it a name? We can say that this is Magan and this is Raman. Magan, it is suffering from some disease. Right? And Raman and Magan, both are very close friends as Sohan and Mohan. As Raman is in contact with Magan, then also Raman will not get the disease by which Magan is suffering. So this disease is called non-infectional disease, right? So infectional disease is caused by coming in contact with the affected person or the things of the affected person. By the non-infectional disease, it is not, it will not cause by coming in contact with the affected person or the things of that affected person. We can take example of infectional disease like uh, coronavirus, the disease which is caused by coronavirus. That is one type of the infectional disease. And uh, for non infectious disease, we can take diabetes. Like if you are sitting with the person who has diabetes, so it is not that the diabetes will cause to you because diabetes is a non infectious disease. Okay. Uh, if we consider cancer, so if you are sitting and if you are staying with the person who is suffering from cancer, so cancer will not cause to us. So why? Because cancer is a non-infectious disease. But if we talk about cold or viral fever, so that will be considered as the uh, infectious disease because when we come in contact with a person who is suffering from that disease, it may cause to us. So this way we can also plot a difference of infectious disease and non-infectional disease. I hope that uh, this example of Sohan and Mohan and Magan and Raman will be very helpful to you to understand that what is infectional disease and non-infectional disease. So, in today's lecture, we have discussed about what is acute disease and what is chronic disease. 
is that acute disease. If the disease will stay for a short time, you know it is very acute, it will go up in short time. So that is acute disease. While in chronic disease, it will stay for a long time. Also, we understood about the causes of disease. Some are internal causes and some are external causes. And we have also explored the idea of infectious disease and non-infectious disease.